They don't understand, like, why when we become adults, like, we can't really have nothing. Like, why nobody my age can afford a house? I'm so emotional. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> they, they make you seem like you're weak. Or in my day, we had to do X, Y, and Z. Like, you're living the life. You make six figures. I wish I made that when I was your age. But it's like, at what cost? But while everybody was sad about being laid off, y'all, I was happy because I was so miserable at that job. What I do know is, I have zero desire to go punch somebody's clock. but I really just feel like I am not operating in my full potential I feel like God has called me to be in a creative space but I don't necessarily think that creative space is um, working for someone else I feel like the creativity that I have should be used in a way more meaningful and impactful way. And I don't even necessarily know if that's like building stuff for other people. Like right now I'm working on um, somebody's branding concept in their website. And it's like, I do those things good, but I still don't think that that is what I should be using like my creativity for or my I don't feel like that that is my purpose and it's just, it's just something that I'm good at so I don't know I just feel like I really need to you know take some time to really get my life and like I just sound so fucking sad today and it's just like I don't know why I'm like overwhelmed with all these emotions but it's just like there's so much more to life than having to go sit in an office and stare at a computer screen all day. And it's like, when you say this to other people, like, you know, your elders or people older than you, they, I'm so emotional. I don't know what the fuck is going on. They, they make you seem like you're weak or in my day we had to do X, Y, and Z. Like you're living the life. You make six figures. I wish I made that when I was your age. But it's like, at what cost? Like I am sad. Like at what cost? So um, I'm about to get my life together. I honestly think I might take off tomorrow. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I might just do that as a self-care day to myself. Um, John has to go in the office, but I'm pretty sure we're going to do something in the evening, but I really might just take that time to relax and, you know, pray and just be by myself because I don't know. I don't even know where this conversation is going. Let me finish my egg so I can go take my ass to work. Okay, so let's put this vlog on a much lighter note. So, as you can tell by the last clip, your girl was pretty sad. I had a hard week. So, anywho, I took some mental health days. I decided to really just tap into my creative side. And luckily, I had a cake order for a family member who lives down here. So, I got a chance to really just tap into that creative side and have a little bit of fun. Um, so, funny story. I actually used to bake a lot before I came to Texas. I had an in-home bakery that kind of just took off, and it all started during the pandemic. I was laid off from my job, like most of us, and it was my boyfriend at the time's birthday, and I wanted to do like a nice little cake for him, but I started getting quotes back, and it was like $150, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying $150 for a cake, so I hopped my little tail on YouTube and I'm like we're gonna figure out how we can make this cake ourselves so that being said I made him a Hennessy birthday cake that came out phenomenal everybody loved it when I say loved it I just started getting customers left and right after that and it was purely like word of mouth and then from that moment 
I just was baking cakes and baking cakes. But by the time I started back working as the pandemic was coming down to an end, it kind of became overwhelming. I'm not going to even lie. So I was doing personal training. I was in school for my master's, baking cakes and working a nine to five. It was a bit much. So I would say I got burned out. And by the time I decided that I was going to move to Texas, I was in my mood like, yeah, I'm retiring from this. I don't like this. And everybody's like, you're so good at it. And I'm just like, just because I'm good at something doesn't mean that that's what I'm supposed to do for money. So I don't know if I should, you know, pick back up bacon. Like, I don't know if I should just kind of make it a hobby. I really don't know. But it can low key be an expensive hobby because when I tell y'all this cake cost me $70 just to make. That's crazy. So in order for me to efficiently charge for this cake, I will have to charge an astronomical price just so I can get my money back and plus my labor. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just in my mood to where I'm like, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I just feel like I love to be creative, but I also don't know if I love to work for my creativity, like work for somebody else for my creativity. Like, I would just like to create stuff that was just solely and simple for myself or my business or my brand, but it it was still making an impact at the same time. So I really don't know what I want to do with this side hustle stuff. Do I want to build out these side hustles? Um, I also do logos and websites, and it's like another avenue to where I'm creative, but it's like, eh, do I want to build somebody else's thing you know what I mean it's like what am I building for myself so that's kind of where I am at today but I don't know I'm going to take this time this week to really just kind of figure that out but you guys look how cute this cake came out I don't know who Bluey is but apparently it's somebody super famous or everybody loves this person this dog and I just found out it's a girl I would assume a boy but It is what it is, but this cake came out so cute, and I just be so nervous when I make cakes because it's like, okay, it's cute, but are they going to think it's cute? Is it going to taste good? But I always get good reviews, so I don't know why I stress myself out thinking about this kind of stuff, but with that being said, the cake came out beautiful, and she loved it, and yeah. Good morning, guys. So today is Sunday, and my Sunday is looking a little different than it typically does. Typically, I like to go to church. I like to go to um, HEB. I like to go to Target. I like to go to Trader Joe's. But like, I'm at the point where I, 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 I just had a very hard week, and I need to get my life. I need to get back grounded, and I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Don't really need to go grocery shopping. I have some stuff at home, so we gonna work with what we have at home. And I feel like a lot of stuff just kind of goes to waste, even though the last time I went grocery shopping, I did that um, six to one method and that method worked. I still have a lot of groceries from that time when I went to the store. So if you have not seen that video, check out my last vlog where I show like the grocery shopping routine that I did. And I will say it's very useful. But today I am at the gym. I have my pre-workout. I mixed it with some coffee, hoping it gave me a little bit of energy this morning because I am tired. I am exhausted. I've had a hard week for some reason. And my hair is definitely looking like it. I'm giving holiday heart for sure. It's giving holiday heart. It's giving crackhead. I probably shouldn't have said that. That's rude. I just had a very hard week and it started at the beginning of the week, like Monday. I just wanted to take the whole week of work off. But unfortunately, I'm, I don't have that much PTO. And if I needed, that would be on my damn PTO. So it's like, okay, can't do that. We can work from home two days a week. But I needed more than two days, two days this week. Like, just being real. And I didn't want to just be like, oh, can I work from home? I'm having a hard week. I didn't want to work at all this week. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to have any meetings. It was just like, I did not want to interact with anybody. And that might be like a toxic trait, but it's like, I have had a hard time with working in general. And it's ever since I got into the working world and I don't think they equip us to working or it's just like we're different or something because it's like 
when I worked at the daycare, like I worked at a daycare all throughout college, like that did not bother me. The only thing that bothered me about that was they only paid me $7 an hour. It was stressful, it was chaotic, but it was always something new. I was like, children are bad, but children are a beautiful thing. And I really enjoyed working at the daycare. Now I'm not gonna lie, it was stressful, but it was, it was good because it's like, okay, I can play with kids all day and then I can send you home to your mom. But the thing was, they just don't pay educators enough money. And when I say daycare, I still was a lead early childhood education teacher. So, but I think the most I ended up making there was probably like eight something. And I had been working there for five years. And then, um, so I worked there all throughout college. And then when I graduated, I literally asked for like a dollar more. And they wouldn't give me that dollar. So I just was like, okay, I have to leave. So I literally just quit, no plan, no nothing. And I started working for another daycare chain, but working in their corporate office, but it was call center vibes. And then I'm like, okay, this is a lot more money, but like there's gotta be more to life than sitting here calling, I mean, receiving calls all day, giving basically prices for daycare and setting up tours. Like, I mean, it was, it was straight because it was like, I feel like I had a different insight than the other people who worked in the call center. Like I had been a teacher, so I knew exactly how to comfort parents when calling. Cause a lot of times new parents are freaking out. They're like, I'm scared. I don't know if they're going to be doing this. I'm going to, I don't know if they're going to be doing that, but I'm like, I promise you your kid's going to be fine. Blah, blah, blah. So then once I was like, okay, I can't do this call center thing. And it was also like an hour away from my house, like where I was living with my mom. I had even fell asleep driving. And I also used to have like panic attacks. Like, and it was very weird. This is like my first year out of college and I was just having like all these panic attacks and I couldn't understand why. So from that point, I started going to therapy. And then with the with the with the help of therapy, I kind of felt like I felt like I had the autonomy to make that move to a different thing because it's like the older people in my family were like, "You can't be job hopping. You haven't even been there a year." And I think I was there maybe maybe like eight nine months, and then I got a job at another daycare corporate office basically where I actually had came from I ended up going back to the same company and just working in their corporate office and I was working as a talent acquisition specialist and I helped like source candidates through like LinkedIn and other social media platforms so like that's where I kind of just fell into the space of where I like social media and I like being in TA because it's like you're on the other side of that hiring cycle and it's kind of like you you learn so much and you learn how to interview and you learn how to be more confident so I like that I was able to gain that experience there but then it was like after I had I stayed there for a year for sure and then boom 2020 happened I got laid off but while everybody was sad about being laid off y'all I was happy because I was so miserable at that job and I just think it was the concept of work that was making me miserable I just think I need something different than to do kind of like the same thing every day and that from that point I think I was what laid off in the pandemic I guess only one year I think I started back working in 2021 I actually went to start back working at my old high school and it was just like I felt it again I just was like this ain't it it's just not it go to go to another company got to the same place this just ain't it and I think I'm now at that point where I'm just like this just ain't it and I don't know if it's the job and maybe it's me but I just don't feel fulfilled going to punch somebody's clock every day like it's making me overwhelmed and sure like I have side hustles and stuff like that but it's like I think I don't like the idea of capitalism I don't like the idea of us having to work and like you're just not enjoying life and maybe if work was less of our day less of our time it might be sustain might be sustainable to the mental health, but I just kind of feel like my mental health takes a toll. So um, I could kind of like go into like really going hard in my in my side hustles, but then it's kind of like 
I actually just finished up a client's website and then I had a cake order this weekend. So I did a client's website and like their whole branding suite pretty much. And it's like, I like to be creative, but I don't know if I necessarily like to trade my time to be creative for somebody else. And that might sound mean or something, but I feel like I still wanna help people and have the impact but I don't necessarily know if that's working with people to create something for them. I wanna be able to impact them kinda of like on the inside. And I'm not going to get another degree, I'm not doing nothing like that, so I really have to kinda of sit down and figure out what that looks like for me. But when I tell you I'm tired of going to build somebody else's dream, I'm tired of it. It, it just doesn't feel good <laughs> like I don't know if it's society but it's just like I make more than probably most people in my family I, I would say maybe out of one auntie I probably make the most I make more than anybody and I make more than what people made in the past and I can't do anything with it like inflation is a like and I I don't understand like why when we become adults like we can't really have nothing like why nobody my age can afford a house unless they got their house during like COVID nobody can afford a house rent is two thousand dollars and it's just like to have to go work for pennies then go go you can't go do nothing else because you're staying in a two thousand dollar apartment car notes are eight hundred dollars and it's just like it's time for me to really sit back and figure out what the heck I need to do. And this is like a very vulnerable chat. And I don't know if people are going to agree. I don't know if people are going to call me ungrateful. I don't know if people are going to disagree or call me a brat or anything like that. But it's just like, I'm just over it. I'm legitimately over it. So um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this week to really just kind of like be with myself be with god really figure out what he's calling me to do in this season because it's like i be praying for these jobs i've been praying for these large income jumps that i've been getting like y'all i make good money but when i tell you it is unbearable to have to go into that office it's unbearable like i literally had to take three days off last week literally just crying and crying and crying and it's just like it doesn't feel good. It's, it doesn't feel like I'm having any kind of impact. It's like the pace is way too slow. It's just too mundane for me. So I'm going to take some time to really figure out what I need to be doing. So I took all social media off my phone for this week. The only thing that is still on my phone is YouTube. And that's because I don't think I get distracted with YouTube. And when I'm on YouTube, I find things that are informative for me to watch but the thing is with like TikTok and Instagram you may go on there and search something informative but then you just fall into this rabbit hole of like scrolling and consuming content and it's just like you consuming content all day but what are you doing for yourself and that's a, that's to the point where I'm at it's like you watching people do stuff that you could be doing but it's like, all right, I work all day, I'm burnt out from work, but then I spend hours scrolling. Like that is not good. And like, I feel like in, in today's society, you need social media to grow whatever you're trying to do, whether it's your business, whether you're trying to be an influencer, content creator, you need social media to get exposure to grow. But it's like, at what expense? Like you can't let it be a distraction. And at this point, I kind of just feel like, I've let it become a distraction. So I'm gonna dial it back. I said, I'm trying to, I, I said I wanted to do like 21 days, but I just said like a prayer to God, like let's take it every seven days and kind of just check in and see if I'm, I'm at where I, I'm at or I hear what I need to hear. Because it's like something's gotta give. Something has to give. What I do know is I have zero desire to go punch somebody's clock, especially if I'm not making an impact. It would be different if maybe like 
I was working for a, a nonprofit where I can actually see things happening or working like or doing something like teaching even though that's overwhelming like you can actually see things happening but it's like one teaching doesn't make enough money and two the kids in today's day are a little cray cray because all I see is teachers like crying on the internet these days but it's like something has to give and I have to figure out what I take enjoyment in and what is going to be best for my mental health and I come from a family where you're not about to quit no job unless you have something else lined up so I'm not saying that I'm quitting my job but I'm saying I'm taking a break from the social media and to just figure out what Sierra needs to do and what Sierra needs to feel good in her mental health and my job actually gives us like mental health days but they only give us 56 hours i have way more than 56 hours of mental breakdowns in a year so it's a nice thing but it ain't enough i mean it ain't enough for just today's society y'all like it's so much crap going on in the world i feel like everybody is like in a little bit of a frenzy you can't watch the freaking news because the news is so political if you get on tiktok you see that the freaking country is bombing everybody and it's just like it's hard to see the good in this world right now and it's like if the world is chaotic then you have to go to work and you feel like you're not making an impact what are you doing for yourself and your slither of the little bit of time that they give you so Yes, I'm taking this Sunday off from my regular scheduled programs. I've probably been in the car. I've been talking on here 15 minutes, so I need to go ahead and go in the gym. But I don't know. Today, I just woke up feeling like good and a little bit hopeful. But I need to just figure out what I need to do. So, yeah. Um, And then, like, this video excuse my appearance like i'm on my way in the gym but i don't know if you guys are feeling like the same kind of way about the concept of working let me know in the comments below i want to know like if i'm crazy or not because it's just like who wants to give 40 hours a week to something that's not really benefiting you the only thing it benefits is your your bills like yeah but like it's so much more to life than to work and pay bills so i don't know if anybody else is feeling like that what are you guys like trying to do to kind of combat that i know we can't do it do anything about it because it's america but like what steps are you guys taking to kind of just help you throughout this process or if somebody who who has successfully gotten their self out of this rut please let me know because your girl is on the struggle bus I don't think I could take any more time off. <laughs> I mean, I can because I have it, but it probably would be a detriment to my team because I've missed a lot of meetings. But I had to put my mental health first this week, so. so i'm officially done at the gym hair is looking crazy but i'm about to run in target so i need to make it look like something and that ain't it but whatever um very slow pace today i'm actually in my luteal phase so honestly don't have the energy to work out so what i did i just did a little bit of steady state cardio um i did the stairmaster for 20 minutes like on literally like level six and then um i walked on the treadmill for 40 minutes 
very slow, like 3.0. I didn't even have incline on because like, when I say I'm drained, I'm drained, but I think it's still important that you make sure you move your body when it's close to your period. Because I know most people will probably just sit around, eat chocolate, eat ice cream, which I'll still do, but I'll still make sure I'm moving during that time as well. Um, I'm about to head over to Target. I can't remember why I'm going, but it might come back to me when I get over there. Okay, so I just pulled up to Target and before my camera like really cut off, I usually listen to music at the gym because it kind of gets me moving a little bit faster. I don't really like to listen to podcasts and watching videos because it keeps my tempo a little slower. But today I actually did like watch videos. I started off with Tony Gaskins, if you know, you know. And then I ended up my workout with some Haley Gamba. And if you know, you know. Uh, so in one of Haley's What I Eat In A Day videos, she talks about how she does like this tomato soup from Whole Foods. And I was doing it too because I liked it. But it's just not practical. Like the soup costs $8. When I tell you I bought all of the ingredients and I could probably make double like, like a large amount. I think I spent maybe like $20. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have way more servings on the ingredients. So today I'm going to be making my own like homemade tomato soup. And that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm not sure if John wants to be on the same little kick I'm on tonight. So I'm going to check in with him when I get home. And if he wants something different, we're going to have to go to the grocery store. Because I'm not shopping at Target for groceries today. I don't know why I'm here. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll let y'all know what I get. So I just left out of Target and I was recording a video for y'all. But then... John called me and told me to bring him back some Raisin Canes, which is very hard for me right now because I said I'm trying to get my eating under control. So I obviously didn't order myself anything. The only thing I have right now is a kombucha. And like I said, I'm going to make some of that tomato soup later. Um, right now, I told him to wait for me, but we're going to go grab um, these art pieces that we made um in this glass blowing class so i'll go ahead and insert the footage from that because when i tell you this was such a cool date it was like one of the best dates we ever had because it was different like we didn't go out to eat we didn't go to the movies it was just different and we actually got to take something home but we had to leave it there for a few days so it can basically kind of like cook i guess i put the footage in from that date because we recorded so much and it was so fun and then I'll check back in with you guys once we go ahead and pick it up so you can see the final result. I see you so much 
bitch from my dreams We gotta work it out How could you talk to me now? Maybe I've been looking so long But I only come up on a trail Stop me now so we are back from running our errands and I just really need to like lock in and focus on a few things. I need to edit this video and then I need to kind of do like a brainstorm meeting with myself. So I decided to go downstairs at my apartment because they have like common areas and I just feel like that's better for me right now because I began so distracted when I'm in the apartment by myself. It just, there's so much stuff going on in there. Sorry, now I'm just trying to scope out the scene. We have a few like little common area places here. So I just want to see if this first place is open by the pool. Cause I'm probably gonna work there. So I really just looked up because this space is open. I'm um, just sitting on like this little table. Pool is right here. My hair is a mess because child, I just got out the shower. And I'm probably not gonna even end up washing my hair until tomorrow because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wake up and do some cardio. And I'm gonna need my hair like fresh for work tomorrow. Um, Sunday scaries, not ready to go back to the office tomorrow. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, edit this video i just want to make sure i have the stuff already edited so that way i can get it uploaded tonight but i just kind of feel like coming down in this common space kind of cuts out on the distractions the dog john all that stuff so i could just go ahead and knock this out Baby, I'm sorry. 